I was born in a shotgun house in September 1934, and I was born up on what we call at that time Ignorant Hill, and it was uh, there was a viaduct was here. Uh, when I started school at Lincoln, which is gone now, it was, a great, it was an elementary school. My oldest sister was a senior in high school, so there was quite a gap in. And we lived at Clear Lake, which is a whole other story. And Clear Lake was really something back then. And uh, she would walk me to Lincoln from Clear Lake and let, drop me off, and then she'd go on to high school, and then she'd pick me up on the way back, and we'd walk. And that was a long walk for little old fat, chubby legs. <clears throat> but then I went to, uh, during time, I went to the old Harrison School, which is not the same one that's there now. And then what is where the middle school is now was Harding, and it's gone, the building's gone, but there was, I went to a grade school there one year, and went seven through 12 in the old high school. I got an associate degree at uh, Oklahoma School of Accountancy in Tulsa. A correspondence course from the uh, University of Detroit. And I worked for the Cushing Wholesale Grocery, which is gone. I went to work for Pure Oil Company in Oilton. So then I went to work for Sellers Trucking Company, James Sellers Trucking Company in Dermot. Then I came to Cushing and worked for Forces Chevrolet for 20 years as business manager and office manager. Where Aqua Pleasures is, where the Chevrolet dealer was. Of course, when I was growing up, there was Chevrolet and Ford, Chrysler, Plymouth, Dodge, Packard, oh, Hudson, Tucker, car. They didn't last too long. It was about 10,000 at that time. And, and, but it was more, much more contained. It was, uh, I used to, or, or some of the guys told me, some of the guys at school told me that, that they used to park on 9th Street. That was out in the country. Jesse James Largent Jr., he and I went in the court together. That was, Steve Largent was his oldest son. And then Steve went on to play for the Seattle Seahawks, and well, played for Tulsa University and then Seattle Seahawks. And now he's in the Hall, Hall of Fame. Uh, yeah, he ran for governor and got beat. I joined the Legion in 56 and uh, became commander, I think, around 60, 1960. And then I took a few breaks in got burned out a time or two. I didn't leave the Legion, but I mean, uh, as commander, but I, I think I might have, I'm right at 30 years that I've been commander. I'm commander right now. I had the privilege of being commander when we won post of the year, 2009, 2010, for the whole state of Oklahoma. And in 2006, I, I was named the Legionnaire of the Year for the state of Oklahoma. 345 uh, posts, quite an honor. And then the guys, unbeknownst to me, they surprised me and they named a building after me, the Jimmy Hunter building down there in 2007. I was glad they did it while I was alive and I could see it instead of. <laughs> Too many times we name stuff after people after they die, you know. And, and we walk by old Joe's casket and say, Joe sure was a good old boy, but we didn't bother to tell him while he was alive. <laughs> real active in JCs, and they were real strong in Cushing in the early 60s. And we wanted a youth center, so we went house to house and got enough signatures. They didn't think we'd do it, and we did. And then we went out and knocked on doors and got it passed. So the first youth center was the old Lincoln School, where I started school. First got on the senior assistant board, I couldn't even go to the activity, I was too young. And I spent 31 years on the board, senior assistant, 
In 29 years, I was president of the board. I was on city council when we built the new Houston. The things I'm most proud of is that we installed the 911 service at the time, which at that time was 82, and uh, also the trash carts. Immediately after I got elected, along with Don Kennedy, I, we got uh, a raise for the police and fire of $100 a month, which is a big raise then, and 10% for the rest of the employees. They were vast vastly underpaid. We listened to people and uh, had some hot meetings. And the JCs, we had uh, Western Heritage Day's parade. I was chairman of it two or three times. And we had a big parade. We'd have two, three thousand people watching the parade. And we had uh, about 15 girls that actually dressed up in the dance hall costumes, you know, and they, we had a saloon downtown, you know, we had a lot of fun. Buzz Brown and I wanted to make some money for J.C., so we ran a casino up in the hotel. The police turned their head the other way because it was completely illegal. We had quite a deal because we worked hard and played hard. I was, I was a good baseball player. I mean, you might as well tell it like it is. I wasn't in football. I was, I was mainly a tackling dummy. Saved him some money for the end, had to buy a dummy. Then I was a Rotary for a while. I was president elected of the Rotary and I was named Citizen of the Year later after I got out of the Rotary. I was vice president of the Lions Club. Seven merchants downtown came to me and wanted me to be chairman of the United Fund Drive. And I said, I'm working for somebody. You guys don't, well, we know you'll get her done. So Bill and Cubbage and I were good buddies. And he helped me and we. We met the goal, and, but I don't know, I just always loved the sound, loved cushion. 